Hey guys, Nikki from Tech or Duo. In this video, we're going to go over a awesome tool called M Remote NG. So what this is is essentially the multi remote next generation tool. Uh, this is something I really like. I found this a little while ago, but they seem to have really stepped up some more development, have gotten it a little bit better, have included some more options in here. Uh, so essentially what I want to do is kind of just go through the website a little bit and then show you how to use it. So uh, first thing you want to do is just head to the site and remote NG. You can see that there's the download tab here. Click that download, you get the stable preview nightly versions of the, um, the application. But we'll go back to the home. And as you can see here, it, uh, it has a lot of options here. It's able to uh, use remote desktop in different tabbed and split environments. So you can see you have a proxy server on the right, you have Exchange on the left, and you can even tab it, and that's a remote desktop, and this is an SSH session, which is very cool. You can see all the supported protocols, RDP, VNC, SSH, and so on. So it's very cool. It is supported in multiple languages. Let's head back up here. We can take a look at their posts, and that's just kind of giving you some more information on it and, and any updates. They have documentation on it, which is great. Slide back. And then of course you can contribute, contact, and you can check out the GitHub for the this as well. So we're gonna get right into it. I already have it installed. I'm gonna close that out and let me open up M Remote. And here we are. So as you can see here on the left, I have my connections. Um, I have my putty save session. So if you have putty, um, it will bring up an old session or a session that you have saved within putty, which is very cool. So first thing we wanna do is under your connections, we can click on new connection. We can rename this something else. So let's say um, just Linux server. We can add a description. We can use a different icon. This is gonna be an SSH server or SSH to a Linux server. So we can change that just to show SSH. We can scroll down, we can type in the IP address, the username, of course, and then the password. Domain if you have one. So this is very good if you have a, um, if you're using this within a domain, domain environment as an IT admin, you can add the domain in here and you can inherit these settings to go along with um, all of your servers, all of your computers that you manage. So I can show you that shortly too. So you can see the protocol here, RDP. We'll click on SSH version two. It's gonna pick up port 22. And that's pretty much it for this one. So I'm gonna double click on it. And it's gonna pop us right into the server. Oh, and it says the password is wrong. So I must've just entered it in incorrectly. Let me just make sure it's in there. Perfect. And you can see, I need to, I need to restart. So I'll go ahead and do a reboot anyway. And there we go. So remote side closed because it is rebooting. So we can right click, we can screenshot, you can transfer files, check putty settings and so on. And you can reconnect from here too. Just click disconnect. And what we'll do next is let's click on here. Let's make a new folder. And this folder is going to be Windows, and within this folder, let's make a new connection, and this connection is going to be, um, let's just say finance for now. So we can click, uh, head down here, we can click on the remote NG, and you can make this whatever you want. Let's just say we wanted to make it a Windows, so it has a Windows icon. Let's pick the IP, let's put in the IP address or the host name. I'm just doing it by IP for now. And let me just enter in some information here. RDP is the right protocol we're using here. Port 3389, perfect. So one thing I did wanna show you is if you head up to the windows here, the folder, you can enter in all of the same settings here. Enter the username, password, domain, and 
you can head back to the finance or back to your computers and you can hit inherit. So you can inherit everything from the top level folder so you don't have to copy the passwords for each and every single machine or device that you have in there. So I'm going to double click on this and you can see I just got logged into the server. So that's loading up and it will resize with your computer as well. So if I were to move this and drop it down like this, it will reconnect and resize the window. Might take a second there, but there we go. Perfect. So it resized. So I'm going to disconnect from there. So I've been using this tool for quite a while now, and I really like it. I've been using it for my Linux servers. I've been using it for my um, virtual machines. I've been using it for work as an IT admin to uh, connect to multiple computers and different uh, uh, servers. And it's been fantastic, and it's saved me a ton of time and just makes things much easier for me. So hopefully this video kind of helped you out, showed you this new tool. Um, and hopefully this is something that you guys would want to try out and check. So I highly recommend it. Go ahead and enjoy. Take care.